let's do something interesting today. Today, we're going to talk about mini greenhouses, the little ones, those structures that house one or two plants and are just simple, small, and in your backyard. Most of these are not used for commercial applications. They're used for private applications or they're used in research when you want to isolate one particular plant. Another place that you could use mini greenhouses is within your greenhouse. A lot of people will actually house a greenhouse over their plants within their greenhouse because they can heat a small space. It acts like a second layer of insulation for the plants that are underneath it. So let's get started talking about mini greenhouses. Simple Tech, that's the name of this channel. And we have piles of other videos on greenhouses and growing you can check out after you watch this one. Now, I'm gonna give you a little information on how to get YouTube to show you the kind of videos you wanna watch. And the easy way to do that is to hit subscribe on those channels that give you information that you like. So when you hit subscribe on a greenhouse channel like this, you're gonna get more similar videos, not just from me, but from other channels that have similar topic videos as well suggested to you by YouTube. So hit subscribe and hit like and tell YouTube this is the kind of content you want to see more of. The first mini greenhouse we're going to talk about are terraniums. Now, terraniums are designed to actually contain the water cycle around a plant. They're often made out of glass. They can be open, but they're designed so that the water vapor from the plant and the soil will condense on the walls of the terrarium and eventually fall back into the plant, thus self-watering it. At some point, you're gonna to have to add more water to this type of device though. Terraniums are often used for insects as well as plants or for specific plants that some sort of a researcher wants to study. Propagators are mini greenhouses generally used for growing seeds right from the beginning stage. They usually have a plastic container top on them and will grow multiple mini plants at the beginning of their life cycle. Propagators aren't that expensive to buy as a mini greenhouse and most of the plants that you actually purchase these days in a commercial greenhouse started in a propagator. Mini pop-up greenhouses are a nice way to cover one or two plants to give them a little more protection from the elements, the wind, severe rain, something like that. The one thing you want to make sure you do with a mini pop-up greenhouse is you have to ensure that it's actually secured down. Because these things are not very big and they're usually made out of a light plastic, even a mild wind is going to blow them away. So if they're secured, they work as a wonderful little mini greenhouse and you can buy them quite easily on Alibaba, eBay, Amazon, or any of a number of online places, as well as a number of uh, big box hardware stores or your local hardware store for that matter, or garden center. A cloche is a bell or dome shaped cover that you actually put over plants that you have put in the ground that are still young, small, and it gives them a little more protection against the elements. Cloches are very popular in northern climates from gardeners that are gardening outside that want an early start on the season and it gives them a, a jump start upon everyone else so that they can get their plants going and protects them from you know a mild frost or severe weather. Cold frames are usually made from glass and timber. You can buy them or do it yourself and they're basically a little bit larger mini greenhouse that you can put your plants in. Most cold flames have a removable top or a door on them so you can access and water and trim and take care of your plants on a daily basis. There's a number of different designs out there for cold frames and these are pretty cool when you look at them. Um, I'm going to show a few of them in the background here and I like them. I'm not sure if we should classify this as a mini greenhouse, but 
in a lot of ways, it really is a mini greenhouse. A mini walk-in garden greenhouse is something that is made out of plastic. You can generally buy them on Amazon or eBay or Alibaba or those kind of places. They're not that much money. They're, you know, 20 to $50 or in that type of price range. And they do act as a greenhouse, but they're not very big. I mean, you can stand up in most of them, but maybe just turn around. It's not something that you can put hundreds of plants into or use in a serious commercial manner. That being said, they're a wonderful little device for protecting your plants. Now, a lean-to mini greenhouse is actually a really nice design and something that is worth considering, especially in colder climates. Mm -hmm. A lean-to should be on the south side of your house, especially in a colder climate, so that it gets more sun. But what's really nice about a lean-to design is that you can actually tap heat into that from the structure that it's beside. So if it's on your house or your garage or your barn, and you have heat in your house, garage, or barn, you can bring some of that heat into the lean-to mini greenhouse and have those plants flourish in colder temperatures when no one else can grow anything. So there you are growing away without really adding too much to your heating bill with a mini greenhouse lean to attached to your structure. Okay, anybody that's been a long-term follower of this channel knows that I like domes. I built a 200 square foot dome greenhouse that's four season in my backyard. But domes don't have to be large you can have mini domes and mini domes are kind of cool. You can have them so they break apart and you can access them or just lift the whole dome up. There's all kinds of ways to make these domes, whether it's from wood or PVC or metal. And the major retailers like Amazon, eBay, Alibaba, the hardware stores, etc., all have kits to make these domes or fully made domes. Although it's not as popular as the other structures that are out there. So, I'm of the opinion if you can get a dome, do it just because it's kind of cool. Now, a mini garden shed is actually a wonderful thing to do if you want to have some plants protected in a greenhouse, but you need a shed to house your garden tools. So it's dual purpose, it saves a lot of space, and one of the things you're going to find, especially in northern climates, is that we really don't need much glazing on the northern wall. So if you position a mini shed greenhouse so that the northern wall is in the right spot, you don't need that much glass or polycarbonate to cover it. So you can use a higher end covering, double pane glass or a good polycarbonate, and not break the bank. And you got your tools right there because that's what a shed is and that's what a shed's for. So, summary. Yes, it's hot in here today. Um, we haven't turned our air conditioning on yet for the year, so, and we're coming into a heat wave, so my day tomorrow is to make sure that the systems are working and you're not going to see me sweating through everything again. I hope you got some ideas out of this video for mini greenhouses that can help you start your season sooner, protect your plants, and or isolate a particular plant for growing, research, or enjoyment purposes. Good luck, carry on, hope to see you in the next video.